Hi everybody, it's St. Helia's School. This story is called The Sea and Me and it's been written by Bianca Bekovic and the illustrations are by Scott Pearson. Life in the sea is busy and free. We fish are as happy as we can be. Sharks are our leaders, they set up the laws. But all we creatures have special chores. Throughout this book there's a what section at the bottom of each page. The what on this page is about Jack Mackerels. Jack mackerels travel around in schools of hundreds of thousands of fish for protection. These schools can weigh up to 100 tonnes. That's about the weight of an aeroplane. Flounder and oysters clean the sea floor. Pippies and cockles take care of the shore. Sharks say to people, please catch what you need. Just never take more than you need for a feed. The what on this page is about a fish called a flounder. Flounder are born with eyes on the sides of their head because they live and feed on the ocean floor. Their eyes get squashed around and both end up on top of its head by the time it is an adult. Imagine having eyes on the top of your head. When we are careful and learn not to waste, there's plenty of food so we all get a taste. And when you've done fishing, leave the sea clean because rubbish on beaches is ugly and mean. The what on this page is about a ghost shark. Many, like many fish that live in the dark ocean depths, the ghost shark has eyes which glow in the dark. This is called phosphorescence. Imagine having eyes that glow in the dark. I wonder what colour they'd be. If we work together, together to share what is here, our beautiful ocean will never be bare. So people can catch enough for their tea with plenty left over for us in the sea. The what on this page is a recipe for seafood macaroni and cheese. Maybe your grown up might like to make it for you one day. And after your day at the ocean is through, pack up your rubbish to take home with you. A few other folk throw their trash in the sea. If it's caught round our necks, we cannot get free. The what on this page is about a single male spotty who looks after a group of females and when he dies, the oldest female in the group changes into a male and takes over as their leader. Amazing. Some selfish people are filled with greed. These naughty folk take more than they need. Along come speedboats, barges and jets, as well as the trawlers with giant drift nets. The what on this page is about Orange Ruffy. The deep sea is freezing and dark. There is little food, so fish grow slowly there. Many don't become adults until they are 30 or 40 years old. An orange ruffy fillet for sale in a shop is probably 50 years old. That's something to think about. Terrible drift nets are miles and miles long. It's easy to see that they are quite wrong. What would it be like if this carried on? The sea's precious creatures would soon be all be gone. The deep sea anglerfish is about 20 times smaller than the female. He lives on her side so that she can easily find him in the dark ocean depths. Have a close look at this picture. There's something pretty special about the deep sea anglerfish. What is that coming at the, above his mouth? It looks like a light. Do you think that's what it could be? I wonder. No lovely dolphins, no graceful stingray. Our rich ocean life could be all fished away. Do you get a feeling this would be wrong? Could we all do a bit to keep the sea strong? The what on this page is about the clownfish. The clownfish gets food and protection from the anemone that it lives on. The anemone gets protection and a clean home from the clownfish. This is called symbiosis, and that's where both animals help each other. Isn't that amazing? Who could have, would know that two animals could help each other to survive? I think that's pretty special. Don't ever think there's not much you can do. When we work together, wishes come true. The smallest of changes matter a lot. Our actions add up to protect what we've got. Now drift netting has been banned in the South Pacific, but still continues in some parts of the world. Ask your fish shop what species their fish is and how it was caught. If they can't tell you, don't buy it. Do you enjoy fishing? There's plenty for you. 
just stick to the limits so we have food too. Trash in our ocean can choke us and kill. Keep the beach tidy so we don't get ill. The blue whale's heart is the size of a small car. It beats five to six times per minute on the surface of the sea, but drops to three beats per minute when it dives to save energy. Imagine if the heart is the size of a small car, how big would the whale be? He must be humongous. Down at a rock pool, look but don't touch. Or we'll hide away so you won't see us much. Fish from a store could be caught drift net free. It means that the ocean's a fair place to be. The what here is about rock lobsters. Six rock lobsters can be caught by a single fisherman at one time. This is called the bag limit. Another word for fishing limit is quota, but this usually refers to larger fishing catches. So it's important if you go fishing to remember how many you can take. What's your quota? What's your bag limit? A clean, healthy ocean is not just a wish, but it's up to us all to care for our fish. Share with your family the things you know, so the ocean is safe for us all to grow. Here's another recipe, and this recipe is for a salmon salad. Your grown-up might like to make that for you too. You are the key to helping us through. The ocean needs you, but you need it too. So think carefully about how we can help the ocean. What could we do when we're at the beach to keep our ocean clean and healthy for the sea creatures? Have a think about it. Talk to your grown-up about it. I hope you enjoyed the story.